Welcome back everybody to another ESC Kiss Online. I'm Justin. And I'm Zendre. And we, we are, are free from oh, time travel. Oh. Yes. My goodness. Did you know that the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 3.17 that the Holy Spirit gives us freedom. That means we are accepted just as we are into God's family and we are invited to live in freedom. Yes, freedom, freedom <laughs> to wear whatever we want, freedom to be back in our own timeline. You know what, guys? It feels so good to be free from those clothes and that, that time. Hat. So you know what, guys? Those glasses. Yes, <laughs> let's celebrate our freedom by getting up and worshipping God. Today we're talking about the biggest family in the whole world. And you know what guys, we're also a part of that family. And that family is God's family. God designed us all to be different. But what makes us the same is that we are all members of God's family. The Holy Spirit helps us to discover the different parts we play in God's family and shows us the uniqueness of our divine design. One way families are different is that they have different rules. Have you ever been at a friend's house and learned they have a totally different set of rules than the ones in your house? Absolutely. I remember being young and still living in my parents' home 
we had a rule that nobody was allowed to put their feet on the coffee table. It was just not done. Well, the one day I visited friends and the entire family had their feet up on the coffee table. I could not believe my eyes. Wow. <laughs> Let's so see weird. how much we know about the different rules around the world. So help each other by guessing what you think is true or false. In Rome, goldfish cannot be kept in bowls. They must be kept in a full-sized aquarium. True or false? In Switzerland, people are not allowed to flush the toilet after 10 p.m. In Georgia, there is a law that forbids people from eating fried chicken with anything other than their hands. Chewing gum has been banned in Singapore since 1992. Children cannot eat ice cream in front of their parents in Montgomery, Missouri. The city of San Francisco banned feeding pigeons. In Vietnam, everyone must enter a room backwards. It's illegal to drive a dirty car in Russia. And lastly, it's illegal to pee in the ocean in Portugal. <laughs> Guys, that was some really fun things that we learned about different families around the world. So, today we're going to hear about Apostle Paul and what he had to say about being in God's family. So, we're going to read Romans 8 verse 14 to 17. Okay. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. The Spirit you receive doesn't make you slaves. Otherwise, you would live in fear again. Instead, the Holy Spirit you received made you God's adopted child. By the Spirit's power, we call God Abba. Abba means Father. The Spirit joins Himself with our spirits, and together they tell us that we are God's children. And as His children, we will receive all that He has for us. We will share what Christ receives. But we must share in his suffering if we want to share in his glory. Wow. So Paul said we were all born with a nature that has a certain set of rules. But those rules actually harm us and make us sin. But when Jesus came to earth, the rules changed. Jesus came to help us to form a great relationship with God and be a part of God's family. When we're part of a new family, we no longer have to follow the rules that we had before. Instead, we embrace the way our new family lives. Say, if you are a citizen of Italy, you have to follow the laws of that country. But if you go to another country and become a citizen of that country, such as South Africa, you are no longer needed to follow the rules of Italy. But it is important that you follow the rules of South Africa. We've been invited to a new family with laws that help us love, forgive, be patient, and put others first, and have joy in times of trouble. And the Holy Spirit helps us follow those rules so we can love our family better. Let's see what the invitation entails. Let's see, where did I put the legacy pod? Hmm, where did I put the legacy pod? Where did I, where did I put the legacy pod? <laughs> where did I put it? Found it! Let's see what we have here. Okay, here's the invitation. I have an invitation. Let me see who it is from and who it is for. It says, to, from the Holy Spirit to everyone in Al Shaddai. The Holy Spirit is giving us the best invitation we could ever have. It's an invitation to be a part of God's family. Do you want in? The Holy Spirit makes us a part of God's family. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Coral. Welcome to Guru TV. Welcome to Guru TV. Hosted by Coral. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Oh, TV! 
How's it going, kids? Good to see y'all. Glad you caught me, because I'm actually taking a trip soon. Long story short, but I haven't seen my family in quite a while. So, I'm gonna make my rounds and see everyone. You see, the thing is, my family's like confetti at a birthday party. They spread all over. So that means I'll be on the road a lot, going from state to state. Now, that doesn't sound like a big deal, but I tell you what, some of these states have some really weird laws and rules. Don't believe me? Check this out. In Alabama, it's illegal to drive with a blindfold on. I mean, come on, how am I supposed to get some well-needed beauty sleep if I have to look at the road the whole time? In Arizona, it's a crime if a donkey sleeps in a bathtub. What? So you're telling me, government, if I visit my Uncle Keith in Flagstaff, where's Albert the pet donkey supposed to sleep if I take his bed? In California, it's illegal to whistle for a lost canary bird if it's before 7 a.m., which I suppose isn't a huge inconvenience, since I can only whistle from 11 to 2. Finally, look at this one. Apparently, it's illegal to give a rat as a present in Montana. You see, <laughs> this is too much. It's gone way too far. If I want to surprise my great aunt Ethel, who lives in the big sky country, with a big 10 pound albino rat for her birthday, I should be able to do so. That's my family's rat. Hey, TJ. Carl. How you doing? I'm good, man, I'm good. I'm just checking up on you, man, seeing how everything's going in your neck of the woods. Aren't you supposed to be going on a trip this week? Yes, sir, I was just talking about that with the kids. Cool, man, so you excited? I was. Was? What happened, man? I tell you what, TJ, there are so many rules and regulations nowadays in every state. I'm just saying it's, it's not going to be fun. And I don't know why, 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 why would I even go? Oh, oh, wow. Well, I mean, it's kind of funny because I was reading today's scripture and it was mentioning something about rules. Really? What verse? It's Romans 8, verses 12 through 17. You want to read it? Sure. <clears throat> So then, brothers, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ provided, we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. So what are your thoughts? I don't know. I guess I'm kind of confused. Confused about what? Well, it talks about living according to the flesh and living by the spirit. I don't know, TJ. It's getting my mind mixed up with like a weird bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I get it. So... It's kind of like when you were talking about those states that have rules. Yeah, they're kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, some of them are kind of weird. But but what if, for example, you were to leave Florida, where you live right now, and go to Montana? Would you still follow the same rules that only apply to Florida? Well, no, because I'd be living in a completely different place and with completely different rules. Exactly. So you see, when you choose to live in different places, you follow different rules. And sometimes those new places have actually more freedom. More freedom? Of course. You see, these verses were written by Paul, and he was passionate about sharing the truth of transformation. Like Transformers? Uh, not quite. <laughs> let, let, look at it like this. You see, when we're born into this world, we're born with a set of rules, right? And then the world teaches us more rules. But... The world's rules and God's rules are incredibly different. In what way? Well, the world's rules are about what we want and ultimately lead us nowhere. But God's rules protect us, they give us purpose, and they fill us with life. Huh, wow, I never thought about it like that. Right? God has given us a chance to have a wonderful life. And all we have to do is believe in Jesus and live out our faith. And once we do that, we become a part of something greater. What would that be? The family of God. Wow, the family of God? Believing and living out my faith sounds a little difficult, but I bet I can do it. Man, I know you can, especially with the help of the Holy Spirit, because without the Holy Spirit, none of it would be possible. Wow, how cool. The Holy Spirit makes us part of God's family. Carl, guess what? That's our big idea. TJ, no, I did. Today's big idea is the Holy Spirit makes us a part of God's family. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit makes us makes a part, us a of, God's part of God's family. family. Yes. yes! Good job, everyone. We are now in the family of God. We're, here. We're the sons and daughters of God.
We are heirs, not hares. So do you feel better about your trip now, Carl? I sure do. TJ, I sure do. Oh, no. What? Were you planning to take a trip to Missouri? Yeah, my cousin Clyde lives there. Why? Looks like bear wrestling there is illegal. Oh, come on! What are you supposed to do after church then? Sorry, buddy. <laughs> See you kids next week. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. We know who God is. God created us. We know who Jesus is. Jesus saved us. But what do we know about the Spirit? Let's talk about it in terms of the big ideas that we've been learning for this past month. So let's look inside our legacy pot again. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have the Holy Spirit helps us want to know God. The Holy Spirit helps us do God's work. Uh, the Holy Spirit makes us a part of God's family. The Holy Spirit is for everyone. And lastly, the Holy Spirit helps us love everyone. Hmm. So what word appears here a lot, other than the Holy Spirit? Help. Help appears, I think, three times. Hmm. No wonder the Holy Spirit is also sometimes called the helper. What is something you need help with? What is something that the Holy Spirit can help you with today so you can do your part in God's family? When you were born, your parents received a birth certificate, which is an important document with your name on it that proved you were born and in which city you were born. If you were adopted on the day your parents finalized your adoption, you were given a new birth certificate with their names and your new name on it. When you are part of a family, no matter how you became part of that family, it gives you a sense of belonging. The Holy Spirit makes us a part of God's family. All month long, our series has been called Legacy. The Holy Spirit is the legacy that Jesus gives us. Our journey with God doesn't happen alone. God gives us people, parents, grandparents, cousins, uncles, aunties, friends, 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 even us, your leaders here at church, who show us what it means to follow Jesus. You may be the only person in your family who goes to church, or you may come from a family that goes to church all the time. Whoever brought you here, you can thank God for those people, for showing you that you are a part of God's family. Did you know that being part of God's family means that you're royalty? Because God is king, so we're all princesses and princesses in his kingdom. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for making us a part of your family. No matter where we come from or where we've been, you give us the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the people in our lives whose legacy has been shared with us. Thank you, God, that you help us whenever we're feeling low or feeling down. And Thank you so much, God, for reminding us that we're royalty in your eyes and, and that you love us no matter what we do or no matter where we go, Father, and that we're always, always welcome to be a part of your family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, guys, that's it for this week's episode. Join us next week for another exciting time with loads of fun as we discover the Bible and what God wants to teach us. See you next week, same place. Same time. Oh, we definitely hope so. Oh, Dr. Justikoff. Oh, goodbye, children. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>